Hi, I'm Ellie Golding, and I'm going to talk to you about love, peace, and calm through three works of art I love. We're going to start with mind breath drawings, a piece by one of my absolute favorite artists, Julie Meritu, an artist who was born in Ethiopia and lives and works in New York City. I discovered her through my husband, who works as an art dealer, and this drawing is fascinating a few ways. Firstly, you can look at it from afar and it gives you something pleasurable to look at. But look a bit closer and it feels like a story that you can't explain, or even the map of a country that you don't know and could get lost in. What are these signs on the canvas? If you zoom in, some of them look like letters or words. Some could even remind you of Chinese calligraphy on the top part of the drawing, for instance. Julie Meritu's work is informed by numerous sources like maths, geography, or architecture. One famous example of that is Mogama, a painting in four parts. Another piece by Julie Meritu I also love very much. Here, if you look closer, you'll see that she is layering things. This drawing could actually be a juxtaposition of several drawings. I like the escapism of it and the way it feels very dynamic. Sometimes it even feels a little chaotic. But when I look at the center of it, for example, this chaos kind of makes me feel peaceful and calm. It takes away any idea of space or control. I like the idea you can get lost in the painting for hours. This is a graphite drawing, and I've always appreciated the pureness of black and white works. I think that's when you know something's really good, when they can catch you and create such energy with no color. But to tell you the truth, I can also find color amazingly strong and powerful. I'm a great fan of Eve Klein, and I particularly like the large blue anthropometry work he created in the late 50s. When you look at it for the first time, you instantly recognize Eve Klein's blue. It is so distinguishable. I myself have a fascination for the color blue, which gave its title to my album Brightest Blue. To me, it feels like a color that has no end, the color of the sky, the sea, of infinity. And this infinitiness is what I see when I look at the painting. If you look in the middle, it even seems like you could actually dive into the paint. This is one of the four anthropometry works that Eve Klein created between 1958 and 1960. The concept was revolutionary. He decided to use women's bodies as living brushes. It was probably a strange thing to do back then, stop women's bodies from being a sexual object and use them as an instrument for creation. As a consequence, what we see here is a new and modern representation of the nude. The shapes of the women's bodies are illegible. Instead, there are bursts, splatters everywhere on the canvas. I find this artistic approach remarkable. And if you add it to the use of the color blue, the whole thing just feels very soothing to me, very harmonious, like a great song that makes things feel just right. Actually, I have many artworks that people would find confrontational or confusing that make me feel peaceful. Chaos brings something different to me. This is one of the reasons why Cy Twombly is one of my favorite artists and why I love La Caduta di Imperioni or Secondo Viaggio in Italia. He painted it in 1962 using oil, chalk, and graphite pencil. This painting is a good display of the American painter's trademark. We can see scattered features, strokes of calligraphy, scribbled lines, and childlike drawings. My line is childlike, but not childish, Twombly once said, and I find it beautiful if you can keep that childlike sense of creation. His style is also sophisticated in its way of exploring abstraction. There is no symmetry, no intentional prettiness on the canvas. Quite the contrary, it is very spontaneous and straightforward, and the color red may even evoke bloodstains. As for the left side of the painting, one might think it has been partly erased. This is a very raw creation, in line with some of Jean de Buffet's, the father of art brute whose work Twombly was very fond of. When Cy Twombly started, some people didn't like or understand his work, but I find it calm, captivating, and chaotic at the same time. That might seem contradictory, but I'm not into the arts where things are perfect. In art, just as in music, you want to embrace the chaos, the energy, the feeling of being alive. <laughs>